Stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desire in what you can't control. We fly, we fly, try so hard together, and we might, we might be lost, but not forever. Many people think that earthworms are yucky and boring. They do not think of these creatures as heroes in the animal kingdom. They only see them wiggle around in the dirt. But these people don't know the whole story. So what did that say? It said that people think that earthworms are boring and icky. These people just know the whole story. Well, what's the whole story? Without worms, the earth won't have good food, good trees, so, or flowers. Or flowers. Is that like people too? Yeah. Or, oh, you want to see? Yeah. Those are earthworms. Here, here. Here and here. And what are they doing? They're aerating. It's they're putting air into the ground into the soil. And what is a casting? And the poop is casting. What is history? History tells us what happens in the past. Charlie, your face is a mess. And don't put those crayons in your mouth. Not. There's one more beautiful light, and it's gonna be beautifuler than the others. Well, sometimes I get nervous. And that doesn't mean it helps me. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Hey! Good job. Oh, are you wiggling? Yeah. You getting your wiggles out? At. 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 What is the beginning letter of that? At. At. Name it. What's the name of the letter? A. Okay, write a lowercase a on line eight. Line eight. Got it. Okay. B e b. B e g b. B e b. Bib. Bib. And what letter? B b. B b b b b. Charlie, get that out of your mouth. Is this a B or a D? Which one? This one. That one's a B on top. Got it. And with a B, you start with the big line from top to bottom. And then a little curve. Good job. Ah. Oh, ha. Ass. 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 Add. Add. Mm-mm. D. B. B. A. Bad. A. K. A. K. A. No. I know this one might be a little hard, but you need to put a three. They're two small curves. Let me see. That's not bad at all. You need four of each. Four 
cents. Four cents and four beans? Come on. Oh. Big line. Little line, little line, big line. Perfect, Frankie. Yes, really. Take away just one. Yeah. How many do we have? Three. Two. Oh wait, hold on. You gotta put that one back. We have three. Remember, because I have to write. Okay, now we have okay. three. If I take away one more. Just one. Yeah. Minus one equals two. Now how about you take two and add two. Add two. Put two on. Two plus two equals a four. Now, take away three. Okay, now how many do you have? One. I want to show Daddy this. Wait, oh, can I erase it, please? Yes. Hold on, I gotta get all three. Thank you. I'm gonna start with. Uh, uh, can Mom, can we take the math one so Daddy can see it? All right, Frankie. If I have three apples, and you give me one more apple, how many apples do I have? If I have three and you give me one more. Four. Yeah. What if Charlie has two apples and you have two but apples? Can I give away one? No, if you and Charlie both have two apples, how many apples do you guys have together? Two. Nope, because you have two and Charlie has two. So you put them together. How much is two plus two? Four. Yeah. <laughs> A what bug? A meshes bug. A what bug? A meshes bug. A meshes bug. A meshes bug. It's a bug. What are you making, Charlie? A worm. A worm? Yeah. Good job. You'll see when I'm done. Okay. Okay. What are you making, Frank? I'm making a rocket, just like last time. Can you get off the table, please? I'm gonna need, we're going to need you more blocks. What are you making with your blocks? Those are the only blocks we have. Hey, I got an idea. Let's Can you? Oh, okay. What is holding on to it? What is helping it grow? Worms. Worms sometimes pull down these underground to eat them. Mmm. What else? If you leave a cardboard box laying there for 50 days, you will see worms. Uh -huh. they, they like to be in dark, dark, dirty places. Oh, dark, dirty places. Okay, what else? What do moles eat? Worms. They, they, they dig a hole, hole for the worms to go down ow, and it, so they could eat them. So, um, 
It's not a very elegant system, but it works for me. This room that we're in right now is my husband's office and school room. So it has the toys and their books and stuff. Um, and I have a separate room for me for various reasons. Um, so what I have right now down here is an extra book that I want to start incorporating, but I want to make sure that uh, we're handling what we have already, but it's national symbols. And it's mostly because I'm interested, so I want to integrate it. This is a bin with construction paper and lined kindergarten paper. And this is where I keep pens, markers, crayons, that kind of thing. So, um, instruction guide, I put up here. His workbook. This is the file for folder that had his week one in it. And I guess this was supposed to go in my week two because he's not supposed to use these yet. So I need to transfer these to week two. And I put the number of the day cheat sheet in there. Charlie, please don't touch the camera Mom. with the key. Ooh, I like it. I and then I put the chart in here. And I bring this out when he goes to do the number of the day. That way he knows how to write the letters. And so that all goes in here. And this goes right on top. These are extra kindergarten paper that I took okay. out for... Charlie, my three-year-old, to have something to do. A devotion book. Don't touch mommy's. Yeah, thank you. Um, clipboard with just random white paper. I need to throw this away. This was from yesterday. And then this is where I keep all of the extra supplies. After we get past day 10, I think we start using these. But these are the numbers. You cut out. And this is something that you add into the number of a day. I haven't come across it calling for this yet. But this is day one through nine. And this is real basic. And then on the other side, they have a lot more, and this goes all the way through to day 100. And there's a lot of different activities. I don't think they want you to do them all every day, but it's so that it doesn't get too routine, I think. But I read them this because I think it's funny. They laugh, and this isn't their read aloud. This is just something I do read aloud to them. I keep all curriculum in here, and then also, the first week, I'm supposed to be reading um, this book. Uh, I think I've already done the exercise, but it was about two months ago, so I think I'm gonna redo that first thing. And then I'm supposed to read something else in math as well. I'll probably do that tomorrow, since my husband, I think, is gonna do that. Uh, exploration day and then this is the book I'm reading aloud and again you can withhold your judgments or actually I don't mind you can tell me but it's the illustrated Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and they have beautiful illustrations we as a family love Harry Potter um, and then that's pretty much day whatever I also have maps back here and a I keep one of these, and I have needed to use it. I like your art. I'm making, I'm making a human. I'm making a family. Oh, I thought we were drawn out of the book. Can you show me? Where's your mushroom? Okay, the mushroom is right here. It's beautiful. Okay, can you show me your other pictures you made? Okay. That that is my earth one. That's my snail. And they is all my worms and that's my mole. Yeah, that's your mole. With all the worms coming to it. And that's yeah, but I'm gonna put a little trap. 
Fridays are about, I think, art and exploration, kind of. So that science book that they're copying out of is the Things Outdoors book. And we're supposed to read that and then go try to find some of those things out in nature and make for a uh, exploration. I haven't finished reading the teacher's manual on it, but it's talking about every Friday, look at specific pages in the science book, do activities or experiments. There's no experiments. Experiments! I think it says to put a board on the ground, which we want to do, but we just recently threw away all our boards, so the point of that is you put a board on the ground and then after a few weeks you see the worms coming up to it. And then put out their science book and let them draw some of the illustrations. This is one thing. Our library is under construction. They just moved to a different location. And so for the last two weeks, they haven't been open and I was planning on doing a library visit the week before school started. A lot of this curriculum relies on reading books on whatever subject. So that got kind of messed up because I didn't go to the library before they moved location. Oh well, we'll pick back up. I think I'm gonna make a regular library day one of the days. Um, and then they explain the outside exploration. Let's see. I spilled coffee on my book. But they explain the outside exploration and how to, I'm not gonna go through each point, but basically this is the part I still need to read that tells you how to do outside exploration the right way. So while they're drying, I'm going to do that. And then we actually have a play date with some kids because I guess for some reasons there's no school today. Hey, that's a road. You're so scary, Charlie. <laughs> Got his apple. Yeah. Frankie, are you ready to drive to the library? Mom, your door is open. Oh my gosh, is that the only thing wrong? Mommy, you're not even buckled up. What are you doing? I'm not buckled. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Jeez. once I'm buckled, you're yeah. ready to go? Yeah, when we're ready. You're buckled. The keys are in. I will say this is a manual transmission, so it might be a hard ride. Beep, beep. Oh, which one is the go pedal? I don't see what the problem is. Is it the middle or this one? I can't really drink my coffee in this position. <laughs> Daddy! Right, Charlie. We're good, right, Charlie? I hear you. Right here? All right, I'll put it right here. Daddy, what is... I appreciate you letting me use your Daddy, cup holder. Which is the go pedal? Uh, that would be the one on the right, but you need to use the one on the left because this is a manual transmission. Can you see over the, the steering wheel? No. Charlie, uh, do you enough. think this will work? Yes. Yes? <laughs> You guys have some confidence. Where'd, where'd Frank go? I don't even see his How head. are you supposed to drive like that? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> you can't steer. Charlie's gonna, all right, Charlie said he's going to work the pedals. And Frank's going to work the wheel. Daddy. Is that how this is going to work? Daddy. Okay, I have a serious problem, though. But if we don't get to the library soon, we won't be able to be back in time to do pumpkins. So, I know you're having fun, but if you want to do pumpkins, we gotta get serious. Do you think I should drive? No. So we can get going? No, Charlie's gonna do the pedal. But listen, we could totally try that. We could do it. We could play for a little bit longer, but I'm telling you, look over there. Look at those pumpkins. You see those four pumpkins right there? Yeah. 
they're not gonna carve themselves. And tonight is the only night that we can carve pumpkins for the next couple days. Yeah, you mean? No, but tonight we're gonna get our pumpkins and decorations on the outside together. If we get going. <laughs> Do I sound funny? What's going on? So are we gonna get going? Here we go. Yeah! I can't get out though because my door's shut locked. <laughs> So, I went to the library and got these books. And I will say, I made a silly mistake. And for about, I don't even know, 20 minutes, I was looking through the picture books and I was like, man, I can't find anything on worms or on anything. I couldn't find anything. And then I realized Right, because I'm looking in the fiction section. So I found like this and a couple other fiction-y type books. But it, <laughs> there are picture books in the non-fiction section. For some reason I was thinking non-fiction would be more like encyclopedias. And they're not. <laughs> so that was a lesson learned. But once I found the right section, I found tons. Um, we got... 40 books in total, and, well, 41, one was for me, and the rest were for school, and uh, I got probably about 20 of them are just fun ones that I'm not showing you. These are the ones that I intended for covering school and school type things. I haven't pre-read any of these but because I will be reading aloud to the kids, I'll be able to differentiate if I am okay with them or not as I'm reading them. Less things in life you simply need to know. But sun and rain and trust and love.